Um, let me talk about something else that's very important here, and, uh, and this will help you. Um, you know, people are so concerned that they blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. You know, they, they fall away, you know, they get born again, they go back to the world, and then they want to repent later. And they do repent, but they struggle because they think, oh, I blasphemed the Holy Spirit. What is interesting about that is because they've repented and come back, they have done opposite of the blaspheming of the Holy Spirit. So here the devil is eating their lunch, thinking they've done this unrepented of, unpardonable sin. And they've actually honored the Holy Spirit by coming back. Blaspheming the Holy Spirit means there's something the Holy Spirit is trying to do, but you're saying it's an evil spirit. So if you're coming back to God, but the devil's making you think like you can't come back to God, it's the Holy Spirit drawing you back, trying to hold on to you. But because you think you can't come back, therefore you're calling the Holy Spirit trying to bring you back an evil spirit. So you'd actually be blaspheming against the Holy Spirit if you didn't come back to God. I pray that you receive this. Father, open their hearts to receive this. So therefore, when you come back to God and you resist the devil telling you that it's too late for you, unpardonable sin, you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, no, 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 no. Come back to God. Repent. Get your life straight. The Holy Spirit is the one drawing you back. So you're honoring him by coming back. You would be blaspheming the Holy Spirit if you let the devil beat you up to say you can't come back. Because then the Holy Spirit that's drawing you back, you'd be calling an evil spirit. In other words, the, the, your whole basis of wisdom is opposite. Here, God's drawing you back, and you're thinking you can't come back. That's you calling the Holy Spirit. Um, that's you blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. My God, if any of you have fallen away, I don't care the sin, if you repented and stopped, you know, if it's some major fornication or whatnot, you know, stop it. You can't do that stuff. But if you repented and you came back, my God, go to bed and sleep peacefully tonight. You have not blasphemed the Holy Spirit. You've honored him because God was drawing you back and you accepted it.